Right, next lesson we're starting to work with whole numbers and I want to talk about face value, place value and order in numbers. So I've written down some numbers here and this is a diagram and if these haven't showed up too clearly that says thousands, ten thousands and hundred thousands just so you know. So okay, we want to put these numbers at the side here in this table. So I'm going to put two there, three there and one day. Now, the place value of the two is hundreds because that's what place it in in the diagram in the hundreds column and the face value is two. So the face value is just the digit and the place value is the column that it's in in the diagram. So three also has place value 10 and it has face value 3. Okay so let's do another example now. So in this one I have more numbers and this diagram here shows you that has 100,000 place value, 10,000 place value and the uh, face values are the digits, so that has face value 6, 2, 4, 3, 9, 4. And I've got another one here. Alright, so those are zeros, so the place value of those are still zeros, we'll still put them in. Even though the zeros, you must still put zeros in. Next example is going to be... Last one's going to be this. Oops, I've made a mistake there. Right, so this shows the place and face value of the numbers. So as you remember I did tell you about that one. And this one here has a place value of 7. No it doesn't, it has a face value of 7. It has a place value of 10,000. And I'll tell you one more. This one has, here this 9 here has a face value of 9. And a place value of 10. Okay, so how do I put numbers in order of size if they're really big? Because we kind of just count them and put them in order. So say I had some numbers like... Um, Right, so the way we put these numbers in <coughs> order of sizes, we'll look at the digit that's close to the left. Because if you can see, the ones at the left have bigger place values than the ones at the right. At the right. So, this one has a face value too. And so does this one. And so does that one. So, what we'll do now is we'll look at the second digit. And we'll say that the second digit here, the three is smaller than the fives in this one. So now we know that 231,568 is the first number. And then we'll go along with this one. Well, we can say from here that that one's smaller than that one, than this one because if we look at the fourth digit along here that's a zero and that's an eight and the zero's smaller than eight so then we can write uh, 
as the next one and then the next one would be um, right and if we look at this side again we'll see that the next number here because we've already done these ones and the next number up at this side is a 4 so then we'll write 4306 4,436,982 next and then the last number in the sequence will be 5,562,001 so that's the order that those numbers go in right so as a review the place values are the digits the place values are whatever place it's in in this table, hundred thousands, ten thousands, thousands, hundreds, tens are units. And to put them in order, we'll look at the digits at the right, and then if those are the same, we'll move along, and we'll just use the normal rule that we know for counting at the zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and see which ones are smaller and bigger. So that's how we put numbers in order of size, okay? And next time we'll, we'll start looking at different ways of writing numbers. Okay, so that's all I want to say about face and place value and order of numbers. And if if you've got any questions you can just put them as comments on my video and I'll answer them with when I have time, okay?